it actually? I screw it. I guess I'll record. I don't know. I'll send it to John, I guess, for him to. I don't I don't know anything about video editing, and I'm not even sure if this is actually gonna help, but just at least prove that we were here and did stuff. Yeah, exactly. All right. So I'll try to do, um, I've been trying more with like algorithms to do, uh, I guess two things, like using console log and commenting out stuff more, just because I know yeah. that's, that's something I keep talking to more senior developers and they say that helps like both learning and in a job interview, they would prefer you to like, even if you don't know the answer, to at least like start talking and asking questions so that way they they can see it because I guess the, the whole point of it, it's less about like answering the problem right and more about like how you think and how you like if you run into roadblocks what your uh, what you do to go around them so yeah definitely uh, let's see the algorithm is to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit is the temperature in Celsius times times <laughs> times nine over five plus 32. You are given the variable Celsius representing the temperature in Celsius. Use the variable Fahrenheit already defined and assign it to Fahrenheit temperature equivalent to given so ugh. I always feel like how I felt like when I took the math SATs. Those yeah, like I feel yeah. I'll get over Can it. we just okay. write like in parentheses <laughs> nine slash five or do we have, is there like a special way to write that? I think you can, right? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we can like try it and then check our <laughs> answers on Google. <laughs> Basically. Use the algorithm mentioned above to help convert the Celsius temperature function. Don't worry too much about the function and the returns as they'll be covered in future challenges. For now, just use the operators. Which you've already learned. Okay. Uh, I guess I will. Uh, so. So the input is uh, Celsius, right? This is the parameter. It's technically a no I'll just say number because it's all I don't care. It's technically an integer, but I I don't think JavaScript cares. What's up? And I'm just trying to remember if number in because I know like actual like computer programs, there's a difference between like integers and floats, and I don't think like I, I know doubles. JavaScript. Yeah, like JavaScript has it, but I don't know if it actually follows it. I don't think they do. I think that's the whole thing about like TypeScript and JavaScript that like it forces like types. So it's coming in a number, it's coming in a number. Cool. So Fahrenheit is Celsius. I'm going to just word it out. Multiplied by nine over five, I guess, plus I'm just going to say as a fraction plus thirty two. So technically, we can just do it all here in this Fahrenheit. Yeah, save some room. So Celsius. I guess we'll find out if this works. All right. If we're gonna do that though, we don't even need to do it on there. We can just return like Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Was your last... All right, well there you go. <laughs> <Come on in. laughs> 
I'm just gonna say number. Screw it. Right, it's a number. Um, let's see if that works. Nope. Celsius is not defined. So with a C is not defined. You are right. <laughs> that is correct. Dope. Is it? Okay, so yeah, I guess nine over, I guess here, does that matter? I guess, does this matter? Yeah, I think that does matter. It does that? I just wouldn't always it do follow? like the, wouldn't it follow Pendus? Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out. Like, Oh God, okay. don't tell me that this passed too. Oh no. So multiple, yeah, I guess it, it would multiply it first, right? And then at, wait, it would multiply. I thought this would divide it. So multiply, eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. I'm <laughs> not good at math, so <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. I don't know. <clears throat> cool. All right. I just did a reverse the string thing the other day, but I think I already forgot about it. <laughs> I think there I are some like, really good function or some really good like methods. Oh yeah, for return, like for like reversing and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. I I I think I remember, but I guess we'll find I out. I don't remember. <laughs> I remember learning about it, but then I forgot it. Okay. You may need to turn this. Okay, so reverse the provided string. You may turn the string into an array before you can reverse it. Your result must be a string. Do we need to use recursion here? I mean, you could, right? Like technically, you could reverse string. All right, I need to look up string methods. Yeah, let's do that. We probably should look up like array methods too, because I think there's something we can do to spit out the stuff. Because I think it was, so you split and then. Is it yeah, so we split every single character and store it inside of an array, right? Yeah. Okay, so split. And I think it takes Hey. So should we create like start by declaring a like a const oh. array? Like an empty array? I guess it would be let, right? Because const would or let, because const would make it a constant. Like you can't mute. Well, I guess you'd mutate the. You can like uh, mutate the innards, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's just do let instead, because <laughs> yeah. I don't really know like the rules on that. <laughs> okay. right. Oh, is it? Let me remember. I think I remember now. We'll do it two ways, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna console log this because I don't remember what I don't know what this is gonna return. Yeah, there was the one line one that you could do. Yeah, there it is. There's reverse. And it reverses the order of the array. I remember now. I remember now. So here's the one line one. And we'll do the weird like for each or for loop one. So it's string dot split. And it needs to be split. If you do that, it's split every character. And then dot reverse. There's no 
uh, parameter there and then the join. And they have to join it like that. So I think, I think that's the cheater way. Yo. So let's, oh, let's do that then. Let's do log. Yeah, so yeah, it makes an array with each element of the character in there. And then if you do dot join. What does reverse do? It reverses it all? Does it return it in a new array or in a, the same array? I think it, so it, it returns in the same array, I guess. We've, there's a for sure the virus. And yeah, let's see. And it reverses an array in place. The first array becomes last, blah, 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 blah. So it reverses it. Reverse not return to the mutating array, returning. Oh, so it gives it a new array. Yeah, you're right. So, or no, is the reference? So is the reference the, to the original? No, I guess it does. It does give it a new one, doesn't it? It looks like it. It gives back the original because in this example they still have it in A. Oh yeah. Because constant A should be like a constant reference to the same location in memory. Right. 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 Okay. Okay. So yeah. So if you'd want to mess with it, but keep the original, you'd have to basically create a new variable to like tie that. So call it reverse. So have a string and then have one called reverse string. If you wanted the original string. Okay. So that's on. Instead of doing the long, like one where we just do a lot of dot notations, string all the me uh, methods together. Can we, like write out each method on the same line. I want to kind of see like what's going on. Yeah, sure. I think okay. I have like an idea. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. But Let's do uh, const const string. String dot split. I guess what happens when you don't put anything into it? I don't know. Let's find out. Nothing happens. Okay, so it does need those. Space, does that matter? Okay, so it has to be... Just empty quotes? Yeah. Because it, it, that'll say, uh, well, I guess the, the fact that it's, just, oh, it'll count every string character. Is that what's supposed to, I think that's what that means. Uh, I see you're declaring it like you're, you're doing split, but it, it's not an array. Is it not? I thought it was. Because it goes, because of the, I only say because of the uh, commas. I don't know. Does dot split automatically like store it into an array? Because you don't have like an array declared anywhere. Good point. Let's see. Let's see what. It... Is that a string method? Maybe it's a string method. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get you some more cereal. All right, let's see. Mm. 
Oh, I'm looking in the documentation. It does say a string can be converted to an array with the split method. Oh, cool. So okay. Let's create like a new one. So it's a string. Okay, so there's a string method. Okay. Splits a string object into an array of strings by separating the string into substrings. Oh, okay. <coughs> So yeah, so if you put a space in between, it's literally like a word. Oh, it takes like, it separates like a sentence by words? Yeah, so it'll, every space it finds, that's the split that it, it's gonna cut, right? So then uh, if it's just a string, it's gonna be everything. And if it's split by itself, it creates an array element where it's just the whole, whatever in, is in between the string that you're talking about. It just, create, it, it automatically becomes an array. Okay. It's useful. If the empty string is used as a separator, the string is split in between each user perceived character. I know, right. right, kitty. I'll get you some cereal in just a second. I'll Daddy has to. Cereal. Do you want cereal with milk or just cereal? Huh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right. So, so that's why we do. Put it there. Okay, so now it's an array. I don't like how they write out the the array and like the console log. <laughs> there, it's confusing. I know it's kind of the brackets. It's almost like they removed those. Yeah. First, call string array dot inverse. Do we need to, when we looked at the example for, for reverse, didn't it save it in the same location? So do we need to make like a separate one? Or is that just good practice to make like a separate? I think it was just for, yeah, variable? it was more for me just to make a variable. I guess technically it would. <clears throat> well, I got this friend out. Let's do this. Will that work? I guess, yeah, we returned it before without using any, like, declaring anything. Well, it's just weird that it's not. Oh, yeah, that's not a. Sweet. It's not displaying a what's it called anymore as an array. So I wonder if it just happens for that instant, kind of like some of those strings. Oh, it's because we aren't we aren't storing the array anywhere. Oh, yeah. So you do need, so okay. So the answer is you do need the variable. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think it worked in the original one you did because we were just returning it directly, so we didn't right. need to store it anywhere. Everything was being chained, so. <clears throat> cool. But I mean like my but the thing I was asking was, do we need like a, a constant reversed or could we just change, like do string array dot reverse? Oh, that's so cool. I think it's a fair question. I would assume you still could, right? Yeah, okay. So once it becomes a variable, like you, can, you only just need one variable, right? Okay. Yeah, I mean, do we need, should we make two? So it's like more clear I, what we're doing or just use comments to make it like yeah, clear guess, what we're doing? Uh, I don't know if it'd be better practice to like to make a new variable so it's like more clear what we're doing with it or if it's just better to like comment it and say what we're doing with it. Okay, so we reverse the array of strings, right? And then converge string into array <coughs> characters. We reverse it. And then we join 
oh, return. I guess it would be let's use real language turn the array back into a string. So technically, we could do all of this on that one variable. And I think I did. Let's guess what happens. What happens when I do that? So it doesn't. I don't understand. I know that it needs the strings, but I guess I've never, oh, I guess it's the same way as reversed, right? In the same sense where it needs to know. No. So maybe this one does need an, another variable. Oh, Let's see. Oh yeah, because when we first started, we used constant to make the array, so we can't change its type because its type yeah. is immutable. So change it to let, and it should work. But see, look. So if you can't, so it is it the same way we're split, where we have to make a new variable? Because look, if the I guess here, let's comment all these so it's not so confusing. Because if you use the join, it connects. But then if you just do it, like if you pull the string array again, that same variable. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, cool. Sweet. That's nice. Uh, so, wait, what, what do you think's wrong with this one? So, look, if you do the string.join, it connects it, right? But then uh -huh. if you pull that same variable that we're doing to it, it so is it like split where I have to, I think I have to create another variable again. No, I don't think you've actually done it yet. You did it in the console log, but did it like, does it save when you do it in a console log? I think it just saves whatever state it's in, right? Like the result of join, right? Oh. Yeah, that's weird. So join so does join doesn't like does I join make a new wait, let's look up join. Does it create like a new reference point? Yeah, I guess I should probably check that. That's an array method. Yeah. Join. Because if it puts out like if it creates like a new reference point, so we'd have to save the reference like somewhere. But why why does it work when we do uh, I guess I don't know. Yeah, it returns a new string or Join creates method creates and returns a new string by concatenating all the elements in an array separated by commas or specific separator string. There only has one we item. Should, with let, we should be able to overwrite that though, like overwrite the array and turn it into a string, shouldn't we? Do we have to save it? Say string, like string array equals string array dot join? Oh, like so as the same. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. So just the know, same. Like, would that work? Yeah. Yeah. String array cheese. Can't spell today. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, so we have to update the same. So we can update the same variable rather than creating a new one. All right. And then it should. I guess we'd have to return. String. It's weird though. Why does this work for like when we chain all the methods together and just like, but it doesn't think, work when we try and do it like that. Yeah. Maybe because it's all the same reference, right? Like, no. 
Because I think I've, I'd, I'd think cool. you'd run into like the same air, like the same problem where you'd have to like update the string or something. I don't really understand why it works like when you chain it together, but it doesn't work like the way we just did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you can you can just return string split. Like I understand why it would work for like string dot split dot reverse, but I feel like it would like have the same problem when we got to the last part dot join. <clears throat> This is so it's basically so it takes in the string, which is a string, right? It'll split it here and return a new copy of the array. Or it'll it'll return a, an array split by each character. It'll reverse that array, and then it'll take that array and convert it back into a string with join. And it all gets done. Maybe it has something to do with like the font, like the way let works instead of like something else. I don't know. I don't know. That's confusing, but <laughs> I guess we, we still solved it. <laughs> was, I guess what would you do? So you'd have to do this, right? Like for like the for loop version, you'd have to create an empty there. And then because you can still pull, pull in the link. Actually, I guess you do it reverse, right? If you wanted to. Uh, yeah, it'd be more intuitive, I guess. No, there should be a way to do it. String. I guess you could not push it, but I guess. Sh what's the one where you. Shift? Is it shift? I think shift is where you take like the first, like, uh, the first uh, thing off of the array. So I guess it'd be unshift, right? Where you add it to the first. Is it unshift? Yeah. I think it is. It's really confusing that they say unshift to like add something on. I feel like right. that should be to take it off. Push and pop is like if you didn't. Yeah. It's only because I guess because I've been familiar with like all these terms now it makes more sense. But like push and pop would not make sense if you were just. Well, I guess the only reason I remember that is because I think when I was doing like Colt Stills class, he commented on like how he hated like the names shift and unshift because they, they didn't like make sense. <laughs> so I guess. Cool, 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 cool. So that make, gives oh. us our back reverse array. So I'd have to do, I guess I'd have to do join when I. I guess what would be the uh, oh because I'm using an array method that's why I'm using an array method on the string to and adding it to it yeah I guess I'd have to wait why does this why does this work why does it like separate each letter individually because I'm adding I'm using an array method to an empty array and I'm returning I'm basically returning an array I'm not returning oh. How does it, where is it like splitting each letter out? It's like before to get each letter split up, we had used dot split, but I don't, I don't get why it's, why it's splitting it up without, without us doing dot split. Oh, cause it's, it, it still had like, so strings have an index just like an arrays have an index, right? Like you can access uh, the the string the same way that you can access an array. It just uh, normally most of the time it'd be like the capitalization or some dumb thing. Okay, I didn't know that. That's good to know. But then I guess I guess you would have to return dot join. There's not really any other way to convert it back to a string or to convert it from an array. 
I think there is, isn't there? Couldn't we do shift, like make an empty string and then do shift and store each, like each time it stores the shift into the empty string, like we concatenate it on? Oh, yeah, duh. Why don't I just do that? That's, yeah, why am I trying to do array stuff? Yeah. <clears throat> I fall down, Dad. I fall down, Dad. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could do. Hmm. So you... No, I wouldn't. We still need that though, and then we like just use unshift or shift to put like each individual one back into an empty string. But isn't shift a, an array thing? Yeah, we like first do like what we did originally where we made the array and then we use unshift or shift on the array and store it into an empty string. Like each letter into an empty string that we're updating every loop through the array. Can we do it like this where we just do an empty string from the start? Like what if under the console.log string array, like what if you make an, like two let variables? One is like let uh, string array and one is like let string or like string new string and then after this you do like after the console.log you do like string array dot shift uh, string array Here, just try this real quick make a new let variable under the let array like turn turn string array back into a Oh, okay. Back into like that, and then make a new variable underneath of it called like let new string. Okay. And just set it to like an empty string. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. And then like under the console.log, we do like string array dot shift, and then string like index of string. Or no, index. We do shift and then index like I. Oh, so in new, so new string. Yeah, new string equals like string array dot, no, string array i dot. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Yeah, string i dot shift, would that work? And then you and me can all sit and talk, okay? Can you go potty, you have a potty All right, uh, I'm at the studio right now. You guys go ahead, man. Thank you for uh, getting everything started, uh, Adam and everybody else. Uh, yeah, man. Nice work, gentlemen. You tried. We're just having some fun here. I'll. Uh... I assumed you were going to show up at some point. <laughs> um. Yeah, dude. There was no internet. Uh, my, my the moments that I was there, but over here we tried to. <laughs> The last two hours.